Lord, a little out of kink, but I just want you all to know, thank you for your kind words and thank you for reaching out. And yes, the answer is always yes. When everyone says, is this for everybody? Does it matter what level they are in the business? And can I share it with anyone I'm connected to other than the places you posted it? Yes, yes, all the yeses. Um, I just post in the groups that I'm part of. And I'm not part of, and I need to put the disclaimer, I'm not part of tons. Everyone's like, Jenny, you, want to, you know how many Facebook groups and boxer groups I would be part of then? And I would love to say I'm going to post it in all those locations, but I know well enough I cannot be part of 50 and do that. So wherever you found out about this, <laughs> if you're part of a different group or something else, please share the recording. Please share the graphic. Anyone is welcome to be part of this. This is a place just to get your midweek pick me up, to get you through the weekend, to keep you inspired, to keep you motivated, because we all have something special to give. And we have the honor and privilege today to have the beautiful, I mean, she's uh -huh. easy on the eyes, right? Look at Kitty Brown. I mean, you can just stare at her all day. Does anyone no. ever tell you, I, when I saw her picture, and was like, you need to get Candy Brown to speak, because I always ask for recommendations and like it's like mm -hmm. watching the girls on the news like she's beautiful like the people on the uh, news I'm like what do you mean and then I looked at me oh yes you're stunning that's what they oh meant. you're so sweet so oh, we, you know. <laughs> we are just so honored and privileged to have you friend and thank you because this truly is just a go get thing that you're doing because I mean anybody and everybody one lady said she has it translated and she wow. sends it to her people in other countries and I'm like well, wow. that's amazing. And I hope that brings them something, but thank mm -hmm. you for taking your time and sharing with us out the gate after seminar. I'm sure we're all super excited and inspired and ready to run. And I'm just going to let you take over friend. Great. Well, thank you for having me. I honestly was one of those people that was like, oh, can any of us get on here? Like, I was so excited to learn that we could all be a part. And so fun to see my friend Linda on here. Thank you. Uh, we were just at seminar together. Um, but my name is Candy Brown. Um, I'll tell you just a little snippet of my story because um, I started Mary Kay at age 18 and I've now been here 33 years. I'm always surprised when I get my little badge at seminar and I'm always like a year behind because I can tell you I've been saying 32 and then I got my badge in Dallas at seminar. It said 33. I'm like, what? How'd that happen? So, um, but I have to tell you, I was a shy college student. I'm originally from Montana. I grew up in a little town of like less than a thousand people. I knew nothing about makeup. We were literally two hours from a department store. My mom didn't really wear it. And so when I, I was introduced to Mary Kane College, um, where the one girl I knew at college was from my hometown and she started Mary Kay. And so I had a party for her in the dorm room and um, in the dorms and um, really fell in love, went with her to meetings. And I just fell in love with being a part of the the group and the women, you guys know what I'm talking about. And so I can tell you that I went to my first appointment, well, many appointments with butterflies in my stomach, scared to death, thinking, I remember, you know, when you, we did our perfect start, five faces or five parties, I remember thinking, if I'm going to get this nervous at every appointment, I don't know if I can do this. Like, seriously. Um, and so, um, good. I, um, I can tell you that the thing I value the most about being a part of this company is the woman I've become. And it's because amazing sales directors on here, like you all, these top directors, you know, just breathe belief and encouragement. And so I just hope my story gives you a little encouragement because um, I, you know, Mary Kay, Mary Kay always said, what's your dream? And our director would have us close our eyes and say, what's your dream? And some of you have just recaptured a new bigger dream when you were in Dallas at seminar. So we're going to talk about getting started on that. Um, but I will tell you, um, I started in college, earned, um, had two other jobs. My junior year of college started working Mary Kay part-time. I'm going to tell you more the beginning of my story um, than, the, than through the years. Um, but key things is that, you know what, I just started doing what they told me to do, what my director said, working about, I hold in three appointments a week, working about 10 hours a week. My junior year of college, I, I earned my first free car and I picked it up literally on my 21st birthday. And, um, so that was a pretty cool 21st birthday. Right. And, um, I've earned, I've never paid a car payment or insurance in my life. 
because I've always driven free with Mary Kay. So thank you, Mary Kay, like 13, I think 12 or 13 pink Cadillacs later. Um, I love that I was able to save that first year as a director about $10,000 and move my husband and I to Nashville, Tennessee, because he wanted to pursue music. And so I, um, I knew that my career was one that I could take anywhere. So I've moved several times to cities where I didn't know anyone. Um, Nashville was one of them. And, um, and then I found myself a single girl in Nashville. Um, but you know what? I had built a strong business here. And so I was able to send him back to Montana. So I was me to practice husband. Mm -hmm. I was one of those. Now I have an amazing husband. Um, but anyways, I apparently needed a practice one. Um, so I was single for 16 years and Mary Kay afforded me an amazing lifestyle, um, you know, just to be able to travel and do fun stuff. I know I did a couple of Chicago shopping trips in New York City one, a couple of Vegas, right? Like Mary Kay's afforded me a lifestyle that I adore, truly. And then, you know, to build the woman that would attract the right man. Like seriously, if there's any single girls out there, I hope you, I give you a little bit of hope because who are you becoming is what's going to get you that man that's the right one for you. So um, anyways, the one other thing I will tell you that I never would have really imagined is how important the passive income that we have in Mary Kay and the different streams of income. In 2010 in Nashville, I was single at the time. My home was hit by the flood in Nashville. Um, we had no flood insurance because we were not in a flood zone. And I took about six, seven months off work as far as holding any appointments um, I never missed a career conference, never missed seminar, literally had two pairs of shoes, a flip flop, and I went and bought some high heels because I had a star gift card um, that I went and spent, bought that um, so I could go to seminar and have a pair of heels to wear. Um, but literally, um, I took six, seven months off, but I got paid that entire time, right? Like Mary Kay was still putting chicks in my paycheck because my unit was still working and doing their thing. They weren't flooded like I was, um, but I was able to also work kind of like a contractor and, and get my house rebuilt for a little bit less than I would have if I paid a um, big fancy contractor that, you know, they were doing crazy exorbitant amounts at that time because so many people were flooded. So all that to say, building it while you can is super important because it will take care of you when you can't. And everybody has different lives, whether it's health or sickness or parents that you have to care for. So um, I just really saw that and, and didn't realize how valuable and important that was. Um, but, okay, we all have big goals and dreams, right? And if you didn't get to go to summer, I hope you watch it because it does re, oh my, reignite um, those dreams and goals for your life, for your family. I can tell you like, um, I just want to encourage you that right now, the first step is always booking. So I just wanted to take a few minutes today and talk about booking and getting your head and heart in the right place. Because even if you've got those goals and dreams written down and figured out, it's still the first step. And we all got to do it, right? Because that's where we meet the new ladies and the women who are assigned to you that God wants to, you to talk to you. So we've all got to start with booking. And I think for me, I have to get my head and heart in the right place. And so, you know, Mary Kay used to teach us to run around the, you know, coffee table to get excited, you know, so we, we would pass that on in our voice. And nowadays, every, a lot, most people text book and there's nothing wrong with that. That's great. Um, but I still think we got to get our head in the right place. And so I want to encourage you to just to say before you get on the phone and before you get booking, um, everybody wants to book with me. Oh my gosh, we have amazing fall products coming out. And, and um, so Inside Secret, right? It's just coming out this month. Um, but you could truly be booking right now for those gorgeous holiday or new fall colors, right? Like I'm obsessed with this compact. I've worn the, these colors every day since we've got, we got these. They're so gorgeous. Um, but also, I just want to mention that um, I, I do a few little things before I get on the phone and book. A, I usually find someplace even different from sometimes my desk. Some days I, I book from my desk, but sometimes I go find a cozy um, chair and get all the distractions away so that I literally only have my date book, my phone, and my calendar. And I just get in a comfortable spot where I feel like I'm just calling my friends or texting my friends. 
right? Like even if it's somebody you don't know that well, it's just going to be a new friend. So get your head in the place of, oh my gosh, I'm just, I just get to reach out and schedule time with my girlfriends, right? That is, that helps me to, um, thank you, to really um, feel like confident and comfortable reaching out to people, right? Because sometimes we're reaching out to them multiple times. Anybody have to do that? Because I sure do, right? So that follow up. And I tend to like to alternate. I might call and leave a voice message. Um, either through Facebook or through your phone, if you can leave a voice message, um, you know, because I know sometimes we're calling while they're at work or, you know, it may, you may not know if it's a good time. Um, so I do believe like calling and picking up the phone is number one, the best. I think we get the best results if we're honest, right? So why not do the best as much as we can, right? Now, I know there's times that you don't have, to, can't be on the phone, but the more you can use your voice, the more impactful you're going to be. And it's that old thing about run around the coffee table and get excited because when you're excited, they can feel that they're going to be excited to book with you. You know, that enthusiasm, um, just that you are um, over, what are we, how do you say that? I'm messing up the words, but enthusiasm overcomes their objections, right? You're going to get way more yeses because you're excited and because you're sharing from your heart. And honestly, y'all, are we not still learning new things? So I just want to tell you, like telling somebody too, I literally said this today because I have a girlfriend who has a new, has a, a type of an appointment I want to practice and learn. And so I called 10 people today and said, hey, I'm looking for 10 women to help me practice this, um, this new appointment, this new thing. So um, don't be afraid to ask people to help you practice and learn. And people want to help. That's how we're wired as women. There is nothing wrong with that. If we will, if your girlfriend said, um, well, let's just say this. If you had a free afternoon and you thought, ooh, I need to, maybe I should go get a pedicure. But you could come up with 10 other ways to spend that money. And you'd probably talk yourself out of it and go do something else, right? But your girlfriend calls and says, hey, I need some girl time. Will you come with me and get a pedicure? You're going to be like, yeah, absolutely. Because she asked you to be with her, right? And, and so, because she needed some girl time. So I want to encourage you to ask. It's okay to kind of ask for help to learn something new or try something new. I think we've all been trying something new um, a lot in these last three years, right? So, um, also, um, so I do like to alternate text book or voice and then um, texting. So I think it's a great way to follow up to alternate those two. So if that, I hope that helps anybody. Um, I also play some games with myself sometimes. Like if I'm on Facebook, I love to do birthdays um, and look through all your friends and literally through your phone. If you would go through every single name on your phone, um, and Facebook that are not Mary Kay people, right? Um, because we all have a lot of Mary Kay friends on there too. Um, and start booking those people and, and not prejudging them. I promise you, you have a gold mine in your phone, Facebook, and Instagram. You truly have a gold mine. And I want to encourage you to also reach out to some of the men you know that have wives or girlfriends that you know. Literally, I was playing a little game with myself on you know, if you look on Facebook at the top, if you look at your friends, there's a green dot on the people that are on Facebook right now, right? If you know they're on, they can answer back quicker, right? So I was playing a game and messaging people who were on the green dot people, okay? One of them was a guy I haven't seen since tw in 20 years, literally, like we went to high school together. I don't know if I've seen him since. And I messaged him. I knew he had kids and a wife. So um, from, just because of looking on Facebook. And so I messaged him, hey, I'd love to send a little pampering package to your wife. She's my, um, she's, she said yes, he said yes, whatever. I got her a package. We facialed her last week. She's one of the ones I booked today to do this new party with. So um, play some games with yourself. I always play games of how many people I'm going to reach out to. But it might be four different things. Um, one thing with booking I think is really important is that when you're booking, I like to use um, Linda Tupin's old school script. Okay, so I'm just going to give you an outline that you can use for anything you're going to book. 
first introduce yourself and the and well i'm going to give you the outline and i'll come back and say what it is first introduce yourself second get to the point why you're calling okay or texting or whatever third what's in it for her what she's going to what is she going to get out of it fourth get your date ask her what's better for you this or this and then um confirm that and i like to add one more thing on there is tentative booking in case you need it okay so going back to introduce yourself that's saying hey i'm candy um this is candy brown calling calling is a warm friendly word these are linda tupin national sales director retired linda tupin's words okay um calling is a warm friendly word so even if i'm leaving a voice text i'm going to use these same kinds of words get to the point I wanted to invite you to this special event, launching our brand new fall colors. I wanted, I'm practicing this brand new party and I need some ladies to help me practice this. Would you be one of my hostesses, you know, and invite some of your girlfriends and we'll have a lot of fun, I promise. And you'll get some great rewards. That's kind of going into what's in it for her, right? So what's in it for her? right? Is she going to get some rewards? Is she going to get to be the first to try something new? Is she a busy mama that you know could use some pampering? Is she, um, you know, maybe has a business that you could spotlight your her on your page and brag about who she is and maybe bring her some business, right? Like what's in it for her? Okay, that's the, the next one. And then um, what's better for her, this or this? So I might say, you know, do you have time during the day or and do you need an evening or weekend? Or I might say, um, you know, would you like me to send you a pampering package or do you have time that we could get together and have coffee and, and, and get to catch up, right? So I'm going to ask what's better for her because guess what? When you give her two options that are positive or both yeses, basically, she's most likely going to choose one, okay? Um, and then last, I always have kind of three things that I'm thinking of ways that she could help me. Maybe she could, she doesn't want to be a hostess, but maybe she could be your guest for a new event, right? Something that you're doing, your director's doing, maybe a virtual event that's coming up. Or third, maybe you could um, just get together and have her be one of your model makeovers, right? Um, so there's lot, there's always different ways, or maybe she is someone who doesn't have time right now, but she could give you a referral. Who, do, who in your life would you love to treat or pamper? So, um, just have like a few options. 98% of the time, nobody's going to say no to all three. Would you like to get more yeses? Give her some options. Like I'm going to go after one, but if for some, the number one thing I think that I, or thing I want her to do the most, but the second if that doesn't work for some reason, then you have an option. You have some place to go, right? So just kind of have three things written down. Um, I always like to have bullets written down of what I'm going to say, because then if I get nervous, maybe she's someone that does intimidate me, right? Like every one of us have people like that in our lives. Okay. Doesn't matter if you're brand new or you're a sales director. Um, there's people that just make us nervous, right? But if I have some things written down, then it gives me confidence. So as I gave you that outline, write those basic things out. Have it have bullets down. Now the little you're going to add to and ad lib, and that's totally great. That's going to put your personality into it, so it sounds like you when you leave that message but it's the bullets, it's the key things like, hey, this is Candy Brown calling, what you up to today, you know, or um, whatever it is, right? You're gonna put your own personality. So the other thing, I hope this gives you a few little tips for booking. Um, I, I would tell you right now, like, you know, I'm gonna follow up with birthdays, I'm gonna follow up with, um, you know, even just asking people who maybe I haven't facialed yet, sending them a pampering package. And then a lot of my current clients, I'm going to be talking to them about being one of my fall glamour makeovers and trying what's new. Now, remember that if you ordered your, um, if you signed your customers up to get the gorgeous new catalog that's coming, you get to order these new products on the 10th. So you could be booking right now. Um, and because you would probably have them by the fifth, you know, 13th, 14th, 15th, depending on how long it takes for you. But um, you could be booking those right now. 
Um, but last but not least, I want to mention, because the one thing that's going on right now until the 15th that I don't want you to miss out is the Wish It to Win um, contest that Mary Kay's giving away a ton of $50 gift cards, right? So your customers right now can um, download the app. And I'm going to show you a little trick that you may not know. When you go to your app, if you just have your Mary Kay app, it's just the Mary Kay app, right? Where they can order with you and choose you as their beauty consultant. You go to the app. I think you'll be able to see this. So this is the app. That's the first page of it. Up, um, oh, you do have to go to, I think, consultant. Go to consultant with you on there, right? And then up at the top is a little box and an arrow. That is how you can literally text somebody the direct link for them to download the app. Okay, so just um, all it is is make sure you have the app and then go to the heart where it says consultant and then the little square at the top, you can text all of your clients this app so they can download it. Now, if they've registered on your website, they don't have to re-register. They just log in like they normally do. Um, but you want them to get this app and what they do is heart their favorites and they're entered in Mary Kay's contest. Okay. So, um, help your customers to win, get them registered. Um, and you might even offer like a little incentive, maybe one item at half price, you know, on their next order, or, you know, you might give them a little incentive. Um, I always kind of feel like people don't always feel like they'll win. So I don't mind sometimes doing a little incentive. I don't have to, um, but make it easy for them and you'll get tons of people on with your, your information at their fingertips and all of their Mary Kay favorites at their fingertips so they can be ordering from you. So um, those are kind of just a few tips for you. I hope that helps and I hope I gave some people hope. All right, you guys, if you want to ask questions or anything, I'm wide open. Oh my gosh, I loved all those. I think a great way, right? The first thing we have to do out the gate after seminar is get our books full. And I don't know about you guys, but I love what you said, Candy, where sometimes we're just overthinking it. It can be from the apps. It could be just casual girlfriend. Let's get together. We forget, you know, people want to get together. I know everyone's like, oh, because of COVID, everybody wants to stay home. I not have that. to remind myself that is not the case. They've been home. They've been disconnected for three years. They want community and they want friendship. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for reminding us of that. Um, any tips on how to get people? Um, uh, Caitlin, Denny said that you mentioned that you moved from towns and how did you get tips on how to get new people when you're in a new area? You know, um, I can only speak from what I did. And, and honestly, my way of doing that usually was asking people to be a model for me. And I always downplayed what model meant because that I think intimidates a lot of people. But as I'm out and about, um, I really, I would just say, oh my gosh, I noticed you because, and I would just give her a sincere compliment. And then, you know, I would love to spotlight you in my portfolio. I'm we've got some gorgeous new colors and I think they'd be really pretty on you. And what we would do is just get together for, you know, 35, 40 minutes and, you know, just do a quick little makeover and, um, and then I could spotlight you and, and we just do a little headshot, no big deal with our cell phone, you know, nothing fancy. Um, but I need women, you know, with blue eyes or I need different ages. I need different, whatever. So for me, that worked always because I felt like it was a compliment, took it off the sale right? Sales, which mm -hmm. is, and just made them feel special too. I love that. I love that. Does anybody else have any questions or anything you want to say to Candy to affirm her or your takeaway? Well, I'd like to say, um, Candy, thank you so much. I mean, if, if we only did the thing with um, getting people to use our app, the idea, you know, that that little tidbit that you shared, that would that would make this call worthwhile. But you gave us so much, you know, so many good ideas. Um, so I just want to thank you, and I'm so glad that I was on. 
Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Hi, Candy. This is Audrey Maxwell. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Listen, thank you so much for taking the time out to pour into us. I truly enjoyed it. Uh, I'm My so question glad. would be on okay. follow up. On okay. follow up. I am the worst person I can network as far as getting names and number, but for some reason, I don't make that follow up. So I'm losing the prize. Okay, so the trick is you got to write it down. So I keep um, I, I keep a spiral notebook um, that I literally have notes on, and I will. Um, and it's really good too because I I crossed a couple people off my list today before I got on the phone because I think some you know we don't want to bug people. None of us want to do that. And so sometimes I'm going to set somebody down and not call them for a couple of months and check back with them a couple of months later. And I'll write that date down, but I'm literally going to follow up seven, eight times, seriously. Right. And I'll alternate text, video, whatever, invite them to a special event, a virtual and in person or whatever. Right. But the trick is you just got to write it down because this is a deal. When you write down who you texted and who you called, right. Then when you go to do it again, you can go back and look at that list. Mm -hmm. And I will put little notes, like I invite her to a spa event, right? Um, or I, it was a birthday, I sent a birthday message. So now I know there's that little note to help me remember. And like, if I message someone on Facebook that I had to look at her to figure out who she was or how I knew her, then I'm gonna write some of those ideas down or some of those things about her down so I can remember next time too. Because remember, if we can sometimes just say something a little personal, and I'm going to be honest, there's people on there, I don't know who they are. I don't know how I know them. I see that some of our mutual friends, and I might, I'll write those names down, but I'll be honest that I don't know. And that's someone I might just say, hey, girl, I would love to, hey, you know, get together, play makeup a little bit and um, get to, you know, get to know you better, right? Like, or get reconnected. Right. So, right. Um, it's just writing it down and I, do a notebook where you can keep it ongoing. I might start a fresh page and a fresh booking list at the beginning of the month. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Cause sometimes we do need that fresh restart. Right. And, um, but I can go back to through my notes and see how many times I've messaged her. That's great. Bye. Thank you. Let me ask you this. This is the second part of it. So if you're out warm chattering, you get their name and number. How do you convert? the name and number slip or or what your technique you using so that you will do a follow-up or mm. put it in the book because i can get a name and number and write it on the back of the receipt next thing you know i don't know what to do with the receipt the piece of paper i wrote a name I'm looking around i will try I'm just to do like, it in my wow, phone really? yeah i do it in my phone even keep a notes but i will put them in as a in a contact and i know there's something there's some cool little square thing that you can do now Tell where you don't even it. have ask for that phone number, but I haven't right. done that. I haven't gotten that yet. <laughs> Not that far. However, my directors have it. Um, so I got to learn, but um, I will just put their name in my phone. Um, and also when I come home, I'm always doing a, um, I have just paper clipped together leaves, on, you know, that I just keep on by my desk, right? So that then I can go back and go through those. Um, no, I don't okay. see them, but these are a couple I was following up with just today, so or last night. Um, but anyways, I keep them handy and I right close. So, <laughs> all right, thank and, you. And do put notes in your phone. If you put them in your phone, um, like sometimes I'll just hand them my phone and let them put it in and say. Many times I'm connecting them on a different level, even besides Mary Kay people. Um, when I'm connecting with people and so I'm going to have them put their info in so I can text them and give them my info like that's how we exchange right mm, okay. but then I'm going to write in how I know her that, so that then I can follow up yeah hope that helps yeah. okay thank you I'm Sherry Bodie and I just want to thank you for this Kathy Calabro um gave me your link or and saw it on Facebook and I learned some things just listening to you um, today. So thank you very much. Great, thank you. That's amazing. Well, I appreciate all of you taking your time and making this event so fun and sharing it with your girlfriends. And 
power partners and I, I love what we all bring to the table. I love seeing new faces all the time too. That makes my heart happy. Mm-hmm. And I hope this bless you in some way. And Candy, we cannot thank you enough for all that you do and for giving so much to others and these brilliant ideas today. Uh-huh. And don't worry, I'll get the recording done. It usually takes within 24 hours. I'll post wherever you found it is where you'll find the YouTube. But if you go to my YouTube and you subscribe to it, you can just check that randomly, you know, all the time and have all the past recordings and current recordings. So thank you all so much for being on here today. And I hope you're having a blessed Thursday. Bye, ladies. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.